Good day, ma'am. I am Bainting Larry M., your student in CA 200, Section A, Institutional Correction. So today, I'm going to present the uh, Module 3. So, these are the lesson. Institutional Agency in the Philippines, Code of Kalantiao, New Beloved Prison or Old Beloved Prison, San Ramon Prison and Penal Farm, Iwaig Penal Colony, Correctional Institution for Women, Dabao Penal Colony, Sablayan Penal Farm, Leyte Regional Farm, a Prison, uh, and Public Attorney's Office or PAW. So, Institutional Agency of Philippines Consists history of the Bureau of Correction Department of Justice Enforce Federal Law 6 Just Punishment for the Guilty and Ensure the Fair of Impartial Administration of Justice Correction in the Philippines started during pre-colonial times it was, however, organized on an individual community basis. It was only during the Spanish regime when an organized corrective service was made operational. When the Americans took over in the 1900s, the Bureau of Prisons was created under the Reorganization Act of 1905, Act Number. 1407 dated November 1, 1905. The main penitentiary was the Old Beloved Prison in Oroquita Street, Manila, which was established in 1847. Pursuant to Section 1708 of the Revised Administrative Code, it was formally opened by a royal decree in 18. 65 about four years later on or on august 21 1869 the san ramon prison and penal farm in Sumbuanga city was established to confine muslim rebels and recall citrant political prisoners op opposed to the spanish rule the facility which faces Hulusi has the spanish inspired dormitories and originally sit on 1,414 hectares sprawling states. When the American when the American took over in the 1900s, the Bureau of Prison was created under the Reorganization Act of 1905 Act number 1407 dated November 1, 1905 as an agency under the Department of Commerce and Police. It also paved the way for the reestablishment of San Ramon Prison in 1907 which was destroyed during the Spanish-American War. On January 1, 1915, the San Ramon Prison was placed under the auspices of the Bureau of Prison start and started receiving prisoners from Mindanao. Produce transported through rail trucks, a mode which the American introduced to prison. Prisoners had to contend with dilapidated facilities with the cramp area. So before the reconstruction of San Ramon prison, the Americans established in 1904 the Luhit Penal Settlement, now the Iwai Prison and Penal Farm, on a vast reservation of 28,072 hectares. It would could an aggregate total land area of 40 thousand hectares in the late 
1950s. It was located on westernmost part of the archipelago and far from the main town to confine incorrigibles who the government had found the little hope of rehabilitation. The area was expanded to 41,007 hectares by virtue of Executive Order Number 67 issued by Governor Newton Gilbert on October 15, 1912. So other penal colonies were established during the American re regime, regime. On November 27, 1929, the Correctional Institution for Women or CIW was created under Act Number 3579, while Davao Penal Colony in Southern Mindanao was opened in 1932 under Act Number 3732. The CIW was founded to provide separate, faci separate facilities for women offenders and to cater, the, cater to their gender difference. To date, it is the lone woman's prison in the country. So, owing to the increasing number of commuters to the old believed prison in Manila, the new believed prison was established in 1935 in southern suburb of Muntinlupa, Rizal. So, in the in the picture. In the above is uh, that is the old believed prison and the in the the under new believed prison is the new one. The old prison was transformed into receiving center and as a storage facility for farm produce coming from the colonies. It is presently abandoned and under the jurisdiction of the public state's authority so PEA PEA or the public state's authority shall be the agency primarily responsible for integrating directing and coordinating all reclamation project for and in behalf of the national government whereas large reclamation project can provide prisoners have to build their basic houses areas using materials available in the prison reservation after the america regime two more penal institutions were established there were supply the Blyan Prison and Penal Farm in Occidental Mindoro under Proclamation Number 72 issued on September 26, uh, 1954 and Liti Regional Prison under Reclamation Number 1101 issued on January 16, 1973. The Bureau of Prison was renamed Bureau of Correction under the new Administrative Code of 1987 issued on November 23, 1987 and Proclamation Number 495 of the President. It is one of the attached agencies under the supervision and control of the Department of Justice. So, Code of Kalantiao Article 1. You shall not kill, neither shall you steal, neither sh shall you do harm to the age, lest you incur the danger of death. All those who infringe this under shall be condemned to death by being drowned in the, in the river or boiling water. Article 2. You shall obey. Let all the tips with the headman be made 
punctually, he who does not obey shall receive for the first time one hundred lashes. If he dip his lards, he shall be condemned to thrust his hand in boiling water thrice. For the second time, he shall be beaten to death. Article 3. Obey you. Let no one have women that are very young, nor more than he can support, nor be given to excessive blasts he was does not comply with. Obey and observe. This order shall be condemned to swim for three hours for the first time and for the second time to be beaten to death with sharp thorns. Article 4. Observe and obey. Let no one disturb the quiet of ribs when passing by the caves and trees where they are give respect to them. He who does not observe the this shall be killed by ants and beaten to death with thorns. Article 5. You shall obey who exchange for food. Let it be always done in accordance with his word. He who does not comply shall be beaten for one hour. He who repeats the offense shall be exposed for one day among ants. Article 6. You shall be obliged obliged to reverse river sites that are held in respect such as those of trees of recognized word and other site he who fails to comply shall pay with one month's work in good in gold or in honey article 7 this shall be put to death he who kills trees of venerable appearance, who shoot arrows at, at night at old men and women, he who enters the houses of the hid men without permission, he who kills a shark or a streak caiman. Article 8. Slavery for a doom. A certain period of time shall be suffered by those who steal away the women of the headman, by him who keep tempered dogs that bite the heart, the headman, by him who burns the field of others. Article 9. All this shall be beaten for who days, for two days who sing while traveling by night, kill the manual ter the documents belong, belonging to the headman are malicious liar, li liars or who, mo who mock the dead. Article 10. It is decrease and obligation that every mother teach secretly to her daughter matters per pertaining to loss and prepare them for women, womanhood. Let not men be cruel nor punish the women when they catch them in the act of adultery. However, shall this obey shall be kill, killed by being cut to pieces and thrown to the caiman. Article 11. They shall be born who by their strength or Cunning have mocked at and skipped punishment, or who have killed young boys, or tried to steal away the women of the elders. Article 12. This shall be drawn all who interfere with the superiors, or their owners, or masters, all those who abuse themselves through their last those who destroy their 
anitos or idols by breaking them or throwing them down. Article 13. At this shall be exposed to ants for a half for a for half a day who kill black cats during a new moon or steal anything from the chief or arrogance however small the object may be article 14 this shall be made slave for the for life who a beautiful daughter and deny them to to the sons of chief and with bad faith hide them away article 15 Cons concerning belief and so 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 for station they shall be beaten who eat the deceased flesh of beasts which they hold in respect or the herb which they consider good, who would or kill the young of the ma manual or the white monkey. Article 16. The fingers shall be cut off of all those who break idols of wood and clay their al alangans, their alagans, alangans and temples. Of those who destroy the daggers of the Tagalons or break the drinking jar of the latter. Article 17. This shall be killed. Who profane sites which idols are kept and sites where are buried the, the sacred king of their Diwatas and Hidmen. He who perform his Necessites in those places shall be burned. Article 18. Those who do not cause these rules to be obeyed, if they are headmen, they shall be put to death by being stoned and crushed. And if they are arrogant, arrogance, they shall be placed in river to be eaten by sharks and caiman. So, seven institutional correction of the Philippines. First is the new beloved prison or the NBP. So, the, so this, this is the new beloved prison. A new beloved prison or NBP in Montinlopa, Metro Manila is the main insular penitentiary designed to house the prison population of the Philippines. It is maintained by the Bureau of Correction or BUCOR under the Department of Justice. As of May 2018, the new beloved prison or the NBP housed 26,877 convicted criminals. So in 1940, Prisoners were transferred to the NBP from the Old Believed Prison, also known as Carcel y Pasidio, Correctional, Spanish for Correctional, Jail and Military Prisons in Manila. The remnants of the old facility was used by the city of Manila as its detention center known today as Manila City Jail. The penitentiary had an initial land area of 551 hectares or 1,360 acres but 104 hectares to, or 260 acres were transferred to the housing project of the Department of Justice. Additional land of the NBP Reservation is used for this Bureau of Corrections headquarters. During Japanese occupation of the Philippines during World War II, Bilibid was prisoner of war and civilian in intern camp where American soldiers 
American soldiers and civilians were held by the Japanese. 1,200 in internees and POWs were freed by American army on February, February 14, 1945 during the Battle of Manila. So this, this is the picture of all beloved prison. The old beloved prison known as Scarcel Y Pasillo Correctional or the Spanish Correctional Jail and Military Prison occupied a, re a rectangular piece of land that was part of the Mayhalaki State in the heart of Manila. The old prison was established by the Spanish colonial government on June 25, 1865 via royal decree. It is divided into two sections, the carcel which could accommodate 600 inmates and the pasillo which could hold 527 prisoners. The old believed prison is, is located at Oroquita, Manila and constructed in 1847 by virtue of royal decree of the Spanish crown. Pursuant to section 1708 of the revised administration code, constructed in a re, re, radical spokes of a will form a uh, and made strong adobe stones for formula, formulated of formula forma forma opened by a real, real decree in 1865 used today as manila city jail and a famous name of its name as mahaliki state So San Ramon and San Ramon Prison and Penal Farm. According to the according to the historical accounts, the San Ramon Prison was established in Southern Zamboanga on August 21, 1870, through a royal decree prom promulgated in 1869. Uh, San Ramon Prison and Penal Farm. It has an area capacity of 1,542.61 hectares and it houses maximum, medium, and minimum custody types of prisoners. Has an average population of 1,200 prisoners. The principal product is copra, which is one of the biggest source of income of the Bureau of Prison. It also produces rice, corn, ca coffee, cat cattle, and livestock. Established during the tenure of Governor General Ramon Blanco, whose patron sent the prison was named after. The facility was or originally established for prisons convicted of, of political crimes. Consider the oldest penal facility in the country prisoners in San Ramon were required to do agricultural work. So in this so in the right side of the slide so he this is the this is Governor General Ramon Blanco. So during the Spanish American War in 1898, the prisoners in San Ramon was hastily released and the uh, building destroyed. In 1907, the American administration re-established the prison farm. In 1912, General John Persing, chief executive of the Department of Mindanao and, Hulu, and Sulu, classified the institution as a prison and penal colony and therein confined people sentenced by the courts under his jurisdiction. 
Pershing supervision several buildings with a capacity of 600 prisoners were constructed. After several years, the colony became practically self-supporting with 75 coconut trees, which were planted at the beginning of Pershing administration, contributing to the colony's self-sufficiency. Aside from coconut Rice, corn, papaya, and other crops were also cultivated. On November 1, 1905, Reorganization Act No. 1407 was approved, creating the Bureau of Prison under the Department of Commerce and Police, in integrating the old beloved prison, San Ramon Penal Colony, and Iwahig Penal. The Philippine Coconut Authority took over management of the coconut farm from San Ramon. So in, so in 1995, Congresswoman Maria, Maria Clara Lubrigat proposed the transfer of San Ramon prison to Bungao Town in the mountainous area of Sumbuanga to give away the to give away to a special economic soon. Third is the Iwahig Penal Colony. Iwahig Penal Colony. This facility was established during the American occupation. It was, however, during the Spanish regime the, that Puerto Princesa was designated as a place where offenders sentenced to banish were excelled. A specific area of Puerto Princesa was selected as the site for a correctional facility. Governor Lockright authorized the establishment of a penal colony in the province of Palawan on November 16, 1904. This penal settlement, which originally Compromise as area of 22 acres originally served as a depository for prisoners who could not be accommodated at the beloved prison in Manila. In, 19, in 1906, however, the Department of Commerce and Police, which later become the Department of Public Instruction, moved to turn the institution into the center of a penal colony supervised in accordance with trains at the time. Through the department efforts, the Philippine Commission of the United States Government passed Act No. 1723 in 1907, classifying the settlement as a penal institution. So, but under the supervision of Colonel John R. White of the Philippine Constabulary, who would become superintendent of Iwahig in 1906, the colony became a successful settlement. A merit system was devised for the prisoners and vocational activities were offered. This include farming, fishing, forestry, carpentry, and hospital paramedical work, prisoner could choose the vocational activities they wanted. In 1955, Administrative Order No. 20 was formulated by the President and implemented by the Secretary of Justice and the Secretary of Agriculture and the Natural Resources. This order allowed the distribution of Colony lands for cultivation by deserving colonists. The order also contained a list of qualification for colonists who wish to apply for a, for a lot to cultivate the condition for the settlers stay in his land, loan requirements, and marketing of the settlers' product. Iwaig is subdivided into four zones or district. The sin central sub-colony with an area of 14,700 hectares, Santa Lucia with 
9,685 hectares Montable Montable with 8,000 in a wagon with 13,000 hectares Recently, development and presidential proclamation have dramatically reduced the size of the prison reservation of Iwahig. So the work and programs for inmates in Iwahig Penal Colony they develop and tell by inmates to produce various agricultural products, thereby generating income for the Bureau. The fourth is the Correctional Institution for Women or the CIW. Correctional Institution for Women is a woman is a women's prison located in Mandaluyong Metro Manila, Philippines. The prison is operated by the Bureau of Corrections open on uh, 18 hectares property on February 14, 1931. In a report dated January 22, 1959, submitted to the committee created by Administrative Order Number 287 by the Presidential of the Philippines, it was noted that, that before a separate building was constructed specially for women prisoners, all female convicts were confined at the old beloved prison on Ascaraga, St. St. Manila. The male prisoners were confined in dormitories near the women's quarters. Because of this condition, vocational activities of the women prisoners were limited to embroidery when, the, when they become ill and women were con confined in a separate building which served as a hospital with nurses and prison physicians. When the women prisoners needed surgery, they were operated on the on at the believed prison. After the operation, they were transferred to the inferior for convulsions. Prison authorities were aware of the condition that the women prison had to endure. Consequently, the transfer of the women to to a separate site became inevitable. After a series of negotiations started by Prison Director Ramon Victorio, the Philippine Legislature, Legislature passed Republic Act No. 3579 in November, 1, November 1929. It authorized the transfer of all women inmates to building in Welfare Bill and at Mandaloyong Rizal and appropriate 60000 for the move. On February 14, 1931, the women prisoners were transferred from the old beloved prison to the building specially constructed for them. It, its old name, Women's Prison, was changed to Correctional Institution for Women. This was in keeping with emerging trends in penology, which emphasize corrections rather than punishment. The CIW, according to the Senate report, occupied 18 hectares. The original structure was a one-story building which housed the office, the Brigade Miss Hall, kitchen, chapel, infirmary, bathroom and employees restroom. The building has a central courtyard court with trees and flooring plants. The prisoners' vocational activities were expanded to include poultry and piggery as well as cultivation of crops, of crops flowers and fruits. Living quarters for the institution employees were later constructed in the Kumpan. During the Japanese occupation, the CIW, despite a drastic 
reduction in the number of its employees continued with its work a number of female military prisoners were also confined in the institution they were later freed by the u.s army after the ci after the war the ci w resumed its normal operation weekly catechism classes were introduced a dental clinic was built local telephones were installed in the guards quarter in 2000 a new four-story building was constructed by department of public works within the grounds of ciw it is the growing co congregation in the facility the ciw with capacity for only 200 inmates had to accommodate 1000 inmates the next is the Davao Penal Colony The Davao Penal Colony is the first penal settlement founded and organized under Filipino administration. The settlement which originally had an area of approximately 30,000 hectares in the district of Panabo and Tagum, Davao del Norte was formally established on January 21. 1932 by virtue of Act Number 3732. This Act authorized the Governor General to lease or seal the lands, buildings, and improvements in San Ramon Prison and Iwahik Penal Col Colony. It also granted authority to the Secretary of Justice to establish a new prison and penal colony in a suitable public land. A budget of 500,000 was allocated. Se several committees were created to pick a suitable site for the penal settlement in accordance with the recommendation of these com com committees. Governor Dwight Davis signed Proclamation Number 414 on October 7, 1931, which reserve a site for the penal colony in Davao province in Mindanao. The site offered ideal condition for agricultural activities. During the World War II, the colony was converted into concentration camp where more than 1,000 Japanese internees were committed by the Philippine American Force Armed Forces. The Japanese were were treated in accordance with the orders of the American commanding officer. On December 20, 1941, the Japanese Imperial Forces attacked Davao and the colony was among the establishment taken over, over by the invading army. The entire settlement was thrown into conf confusion and a great number of prisoners escaped. Normal operations were inevitably disturbed. On November 8, 1942, a representative of the director of prisoners transferred the colony and its properties to the Japanese authorities. The remaining colony employees, their facilities and the inmates evacuated to Iwahig where they organized the Davao Penal Colony at Iwa Inawagan Sub Colony in Palawan. And the organization of the colony in Ixil was authorized by virtue of Memorandum Order Number no. 60 dated June 28, 1943 and, the, and signed by the Director of Prisons. After the liberation of the Philippines, the colony in Ixil in Palawan returned to its old sites in Davao. A great deal of re rebuilding and repair had to be done because the war had almost completely destroyed the colony. And the works and programs for inmates in Davao Penal Colony inmates work on banana plantation of Tagum Development Company 
or the Tadiko, which has a joint venture agreement with the Bureau. This is the Sablayan Prison and Penal Farm. In Sablayan Penal Colony is nearer to Manila than other penal colonies. The Sablayan Penal Colony is located in Occidental Mindoro and relatively new. Director Alfredo M. Bonnier persuaded the Secretary of Justice to make the President agree to the establishment of a new colony. Established on September 26, 1954 by virtue of Presidential Proclamation No. 72, the penal colony has a total land area of approximately 16,190 hectares. Prison's record show that the first colonists and employees arrived in Sablayan on January 15, 1955, since the since then several buildings have been constructed, including the colonies, dormitories, employees, quarters, and guardhouse, schoolhouse, chapel, rec recreation hall, and post exchange. So three sub colonies were later or organized. What one is the reservation, which this day remains part of a protected rainforest. Another is the coastal area, and the third was used by the national government as a relocation site for re refugees from the eruption of Mount Pinatubo eruption in 1981. Sablayan Prison is a facility where prisoners from New Believed Prison are brought for decon gestion purposes. It follows the same colony standard as other penal farms. Works and pro programs for inmates in supply prison and penal farm provides agriculture and aquaculture programs for inmates. Next is the Leti Regional Prison. The Leti Regional Prison situated in Abuyog, Southern Leti was established a year after the Declaration of Martial Law in 1972 by virtue of Presidential Decree Number 28. While its plantilla and institutional plan were almost ideal, lack of funds made the prison unable to realize its full potential and its facilities are often below par compared with those of other established penal farms. The LRP has an inmate capacity of 500. It follows the, the same agricultural format as the main correctional program in addition to some rehabilitation con, uh, activities. The prison admits convicted offenders from regional, from region 6 and from the national penitentiary in Mountain Lupa. And the Public Attorney's Office or the PAO. So the Public Attorney's Office or the PAO is attached agency of the Department of Justice which provides indigent litigant free legal assistance. The PAO shall be an independent and autonomous office but attached to the Department of Justice in accordance with Section 38 Number 3, Chapter 7 of Book 4 of this code for purposes of policy and program coordination. So the power shall be the principal law office of the government in extending free legal assistance to indigent person in criminal law, civil, labor, administrative and other quasi-judicial cases. The power and function. The power shall independently discharge its mandate to render free of charge legal representation, assistance, and counseling to indigent persons in criminal, civil labor, administrative, and other quasi-judicial cases.
in the exigency of the service the pau may be called upon by prop proper government authority to render such serves to other persons subject to existing laws rules and regulation mandate provide indigent sector access to council at the time of need implement the constitutional guarantee of free access to courts due process and able protection of the laws mission of the public attorney's office so the public attorney's office exists to provide the indigent litigants the oppressed marginalized and the privileged member of the society free access to courts judicial and quasi judicial agencies by rendering legal services counseling and assistance in consonance with the constitutional mandate that free access to court shall not be denied to any person by reason of poverty in order to ensure the role of law throat and social justice as components of the country's sustainable government vision a government agency shall a government agency that is good centered and dynamic bureau, bureaucracy bureaucracy that is responsive to the ever growing legal needs of the indigent and oppressed led by, by highly competent world class development oriented honest dedicated and nationalistic leads and laws so that's all thank you for watching and god bless